Will my long surfboard fit in a Subaru Outback, a Tesla Model Y, and a BMW X5? In this video, I'm going to show you how I fit my longest surfboard, a 9 foot 4 inch longboard, inside my Subaru Outback. I'm also going to test drive two other cars, the Tesla Model Y and the BMW X5, to see if the surfboard will fit inside those cars too. In order to fit my longboard inside my Subaru Outback, I need to lower both rear seats to expand the storage area. Then I do three adjustments to the forward passenger seat. I remove the headrest, I move its base as far as possible forwards, and then I recline its backrest as far back as possible. This creates a long area in the passenger side of my car that is relatively flat, where I can slide the longboard and store it there while I am driving. I can even tie, down with, tie, tie it down with the seat belt if needed. I like transporting my surfboard in this manner. I could use my roof cargo rails, but I have my kayak holders there. I would, it would also take time to put the surfboard on the roof and tie it down. I find it quicker and easier to just adjust the seats in this manner and then just slide the longboard inside through the rear hatchback. This is very helpful for me since I've been going out surfing as much as possible, so I want something that's quick and easy. Also in the winter, it is freezing, so I prefer using this method and avoid having to stand up in the roof and tie down the board to the roof rack when my fingers are fro freezing. My surfboard is covered with a cloth surfboard sock by Hose TV, that's a company, uh, which helps protect my, my board from dings and also absorbs a lot of the ocean water and seaweed so my car doesn't get wet or start to stink. If you're interested in this surfboard sock, I'll leave a link in the comments section for the product. Try this out and let me know what you think in the comments section below. Also, if you have any friendly tips or suggestions on how to transport your longboard to the beach and back, please share them in the comments below. As I mentioned, I plan to test drive two vehicles, the Tesla Model Y and the BMW X5. When I tested each of these vehicles, I told them I wanted to make sure that my surfboard would fit in these two SUVs. When my daughter was younger and my wife and I were testing cars, we would bring her jogging stroller with us so we could test out the cargo. Now I'm taking my longboard. Lucky for them, I did not bring my kayak because that's huge. Uh, the first car I test drove was this red Tesla Y. Um, it, this is described by Tesla as an SUV, but to me, I see it more as a small SUV or a crossover SUV. It was impressive as an EV, uh, less noise, lots of torque, an interactive touchscreen, and lots of fun to drive. It is so high tech, it can practically drive itself. But will my surfboard fit in? Um, I was skeptical at first when I looked at the car from the outside. However, it did. It did fit. Um, I did have to fit it in diagonally because the front passenger seat headrest was not removable according to the dealer. So I could only recline the backrest up to a certain point and, I would, and it would not lie flat as it did for my Subaru. This meant that I had to position my surfboard slightly diagonally from the driver's side rear corner of the car towards the passenger, passenger side front car seat. It fit and I was able to close the door with enough clearance. One key thing to be careful with is that the glass touchscreen is there, so it may be a good idea to tie down the board with the seat belt once it is positioned safely. By the way, I later, I later checked out YouTube and found some videos saying that you could remove the headrest, so I may have to try that out another time. The second car I test drove was the BMW X5. My wife drives a BMW X3 and we love driving that. I wanted to test drive the X5 because it was larger and had more space, which I thought might fit well for all my activities. I ran into the same issue with the front passenger seat. The dealers told me that the headrests up front do not come off, or if they do, they did not know how to do it. So I had to take a similar approach to move the base of the car seat forward, then recline the backrest as much as possible. I then lay my surfboard at a diagonal angle again from the driver's side rear corner towards the passenger side front seat. It worked. There was a lot of space in this car. The tailgate also had a floating platform mechanism near the rear bumper that folded in and out. It made it easier to load things into the car but if you had to reach into the car, uh, then it would hit your legs. This was a nice car, however. 
I told the dealer that I was interested in test driving the hybrid version of this car. He told me that there were no units on the floor due to demand. However, I asked him if it was if the recall I learned about on online had anything to do with it. He started to get nervous and told me that he supposedly knew nothing about a recall. I doubt that. Anyways, the dealer was double worried when I told him I was also considering the Tesla Model Y. So the dealer asked me to test drive their competing vehicle, which it was a BMW iX. It's a crossover SUV, like a cross between the Tesla Model Y and the BMW X3. I did enjoy driving it and test driving it, but I had not heard so much about the car prior to my visiting. Uh, I did not test my surfboard in this vehicle because I honestly don't think it would fit in this car. My Subaru Outback is fine and I love it. It's practical, low maintenance, the all-wheel drive works well in the winter, and it has really fit for me and my activities, allowing me to go kayak fishing in the ocean, uh, snowboarding in the winter, and surfing all the time. However, it's getting old at eight and a half years, and I was rear-ended twice recently, so it's starting to rattle and have some issues. I also got some good quotes to trade it in for a new car. I was also interested in trying out newer cars with more safety features, such as the rear camera, um, blind spot monitoring, and enhanced cruise control. In addition, I wanted to try out either a hybrid car or an electric vehicle to save on energy cost and lower my carbon footprint. So which car do you think I'll buy? Another Subaru Outback? A Tesla Model Y? Or a BMW X5? Please share any friendly comments, I'd love to hear from you. Or if there's another car you would recommend for me, share that as well. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click like, comment, or subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.